Welcome to day seven. Only 23 more days to go. I'm gonna start here in my closet on this side. I'm only doing this side today. It's my clothing and I have some stuff up top here. Um, I also have a couple of bags of like spring summer clothes down in the corner here and that's all that's down there. And I'm gonna leave that for now. <clears throat> and then in the spring when I do like take my spring clothes out and try stuff on and decide what I want I'll decide then what I want to get rid of but right now this season winter stuff this is what I'm gonna go through because I know what I'm wearing on a you know weekly monthly basis and what I'm not wearing at all so let's get started ultimate goal is to have a capsule wardrobe. Um, I really like the idea of having just a few amount of, few amount, a small amount of clothing um, for each season and then you know you love what you wear, you buy higher quality stuff that lasts and I just feel like that really would fit in well with like the vibe that I'm going for in my life these days. my clothes that are hanging and now I'm going to move down to the shelves where I have all of my um, pajamas, t-shirts, underwear. I won't go through that for you. You're welcome. Um, and then on the top here I just have a bunch of stuff that I have thrown and I'm going to take care of this as well. So these are bras, underwear, socks. I'll go through that some other time but all of these tank tops, fun fact about me is I have a tank top all the time under all my shirts. It's what I sleep in. Love them. As you're watching this it's motivating you to declutter some stuff in your house as well I know that a lot of you in my comments have been saying that I'm really inspiring you to clutter de to clutter no we don't want that declutter along with me and um, I'm so glad I'm so glad that was my intention of this not only to get my whole house decluttered but also to inspire you to do it for your home too can't believe that we're already on day seven. One week down, three more weeks, and two more days to go. We've got this, guys. I don't ever really reach for these because they're really hot. And so I'm going to pass these on. Top of the closet on the shelf where I have oh just kidding we're gonna do this right here So I'm curious, are you a person who has a lot of clothing or are you very minimal with your clothing? I feel like I don't have a ton. 
I mean, I might have a lot compared to some people, but compared to most people I know and most of my friends, I really don't have a lot of clothes. Um, yeah, Casey, I'm talking about you. shirt I actually don't really wear very often and I have this, this gray long sleeve so I'm gonna let this go stuff but they don't really go up here so for now I'm gonna move them with the other candles and then I'll decide I don't know what I'm gonna decide because I really like the smell of all these stuff over here is just like memorabilia stuff that I definitely want to keep and all of this I'm just gonna take <laughs> look at this shelf oh can't wait to do my makeover of the closet oh sorry I'm hitting I have, um, I don't even know if you can see me guys, but everything on this side, oops, so my hat and mittens I'm obviously keeping because I live in Maine, it's cold here. And I'm gonna put this stuff down on my desk and then we'll quickly go through it and see what I'm gonna keep, what I'm gonna get rid of. And then I think I'm done. Crazy. I hope I'm not like all up in your grill. So, these are toys that I'm gonna put away so that baby girl can play with them when she's bigger. These are for packing, so I'm going to put them in my suitcase. This is a very old Bible that I that belonged to my grandmother, so this is going back up here. Johnson and Wales commencement 2019. It's my girl. So this is memorabilia. Where do I want to put this? Hmm. Maybe I'm going to stick this downstairs with photographs. So, actually, hmm. Where do I want to put this? I know what I want to do. I have a tote downstairs with all the stuff that the kids had growing up. So, maybe I'll stick it in there. And I only need one. So, get rid of one. These, I'm gonna go move them right now. 
with the other candles. are all going downstairs and then CDs oh this is a CD that my daughter made in like fifth grade when they were learning how to do publisher or something like that and it's of our dog Baxter who we put down oh gosh probably 13 years ago or something we miss our Baxter Bell. Glad we have the memories though. So I do these. Oh, guys, this is hard. Um, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have a computer that takes discs. We don't have a CD player anymore. Oh, you know what? My daughter has all of the old CDs that she had from cheerleading. I'm not sure if she has anything to play with them on, but she's the one that made these. So I'm gonna give them to her and let her decide what to do with them. I wish that I had something to play them on though, but I don't, so. Some decisions are way harder than others. Okay, now last but not least, I got this book when I went to, oh, ooh, I can donate the dust to someone. I surely don't need that. Um, this book, I don't even know how to get into it. Okay, when we went to New York City on a trip, and it is the 9-11 stuff heartbreaking absolutely heartbreaking um i'm not sure if i want to keep it or not it's just all photos of 9 11 and it's like really emotional um but I don't think I need this. I don't think I need this. So I'm gonna pass it on. I just really hope that somebody that has a very strong connection with New York or 9-11 or, you know, something that's in here comes across this book and finds it to be an absolute treasure. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. All right, I'm gonna show you on the floor here all of the things that are leaving just that little part of my closet. So there is my pile of stuff that is leaving this house for good. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I will see you tomorrow when we declutter the other side of the closet. Bye.